Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Supermarket Simulator and their new update expanding on the storage system, which I initially complained about a bit because I thought it was a little lackluster. You couldn't access the store from, or the storage from your store. Uh, you had to go outside to access it. I thought that was kind of weird. There was no shelving or anything to put your boxes on, but uh, they have fixed that. So there are tiers now available for the storage. If you have the first tier unlocked, go ahead and unlock the next two tiers and you'll have access to the door where you can go down into your storage room and start placing down the shelving. Uh, the shelving is purchased from the furniture tab in the store. You just go in there, buy some shelving, and you can go ahead and toss boxes on there. You can probably imagine the way the boxes are stored on the shelves is probably what you would expect it to be. Uh, every row that you place something down, as far as the shelving goes, that specific item has to go in that row for that specific spot. Uh, and obviously, depending on the size of the box, that determines how many of a particular item you can fit there. Uh, the very smallest box, like the salt ones, you can probably fit quite a few down there. Uh, because they all go in a row and then stack on top of each other. The elongated boxes, the ones that are for like the cheeses and uh, some of the, like all the sauces and condiments, those you can probably fit, I would assume, six boxes, three down in a row and then three on top to stack on top of those. The larger boxes, we're talking maybe two on there and then the big toilet, uh, toilet paper and maybe the bleach boxes, maybe one on each rack. Uh, but it's pretty useful. You have four spots on each one including the floor Which I felt like I should mention because a lot of people might not know that you can put stuff on the floor because If you've worked in a grocery store or a place that stores product like that before you know that you you're not really allowed to keep things on the ground That's not really how it typically works, but in this game you can so if you didn't know the ground was an option It is so that gives you four slots uh, technically, well, not really four, but eight slots technically up and down on each one to put whatever items there is if you want on there. Just mess around and experiment with the different sizes of the uh, sizes of the boxes to see exactly how everything fits, and you should be just fine. Uh, that's kind of it. There's not a lot to really talk about. Um, obviously, you probably want to prioritize storing things in this storage room that are cheap but also abundant. So that way, when you need them, you don't have to always go to the store to have to buy them. I would steer away from really expensive items and very large items stored in here because they're just going to take up more space and it's going to create more of a hassle. So toilet paper, I would never store bleach, never store stuff like the sushi stuff like that uh things that only have a couple items in the in the boxes specifically the milk uh the six pack milks i would never store those in the storage room you you kind of just want to be strategic and smart about it uh otherwise that's it that's the that's the deal that's the new update nothing crazy or groundbreaking but it is something that could help if you utilize it correctly so we might be gearing up to release the stockers or people who are supposed to be stocking the shelves or whatever, the employees. I'm not sure when those people are supposed to come, but I do believe that this update was to kind of set the foundation for it. So maybe it'll be soon. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. We're going to be putting out content for this game for quite some time, hopefully. And as long as you guys... Uh, or commenting and liking and showing these videos support we'll keep pumping them out so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on the next one